going on everyone chris from pickdogs.com here with the wraparound we're going to be breaking down the nhl action going down on monday december 11th 2023 now before we get into it though if you like this content make sure you drop a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel appreciate all the love and support we just got our 100 millionth view here on our youtube channel not that long ago so thank you guys that's all because of you and wouldn't have been been able to get to this point without you guys so Appreciate that. If you're looking for my best bets on the board, the games that I love the absolute most, make sure you head to pickdogs.com. Click the premium picks tab at the top of the page. We're going to get you guys sorted. You know, I keep saying it. Christmas holidays, the holiday season finally here. Presents, expensive. And you know, everybody wants to have that extra little bit of cash in their pocket, you know, this time of year. So definitely check me out at pick dogs premium whether it's just a daily pass or a long-term pass long-term pass are going to be the best value you're going to get all my plays regardless of the sport uh and a lot of times it's cheaper than buying a lot of the daily packages individually get the more bang for your buck there and uh you know we've got lots of nba action on monday uh so definitely make sure that you guys are, are checking out those long-term passes whether it's just with me or someone else a part of the multi-capital promotion tons of options for you guys over at pick dogs but anyways we got a four-game card on Monday in NHL action. Yeah, we're going to go into it. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but we'll, 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 we'll talk about why. But anyways, you know the drill. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get into it. Our first game on Monday takes us to the Key Bank Center where the Buffalo Sabres take on the Arizona Coyotes. And the Buffalo Sabres, well, they've kind of fallen off the horse a little bit. They've lost six of their last eight games. They took a 3-2 to two loss in a shootout against the Montreal Canadiens last time out. And it's now each of their last five games where uh, Buffalo has scored three goals or less. And Arizona, well, historically Arizona has not been the strongest of uh, road teams. 5-6-2 and two on the road this season. They just lost 5-3 against the Boston Bruins. A lot of teams are going to lose against the Boston Bruins. They did take one on the chin as well at home against Philadelphia the game prior. But the thing for me here is that the goaltending for Arizona has just been a lot better. You know, Connor Ingram, sure, he's struggled in his last couple starts. Gave up a combined nine goals in those two outings. But for the better part of the last couple of months, Ingram has been, excuse me, the last few weeks I should say, Ingram has been pretty much lights out for the, the Arizona Coyotes and has been a big reason as to why the Coyotes have been able to win as many games as they have. You know, Buffalo, they've had a sort of revolving door of, uh, of goaltenders. You know, Uka Pekka Lukanen, he's been in and out of the lineup. He's currently dealing with an illness. You have Eric Comrie, who's been up and down out of the lineup. Devin Levy still trying to get acclimated to the NFL, uh, excuse me, the NHL game. Um, so, you know, I just see that, I think that this should be a coin flip, if not Arizona being a road favorite here. I just don't get it with the Buffalo Sabres. I'm just not there with the Sabres. They actually you know, have the same record, 5-8, and eight, if you combine the overtime losses and uh, regulation losses than the Arizona Coyotes do on the road. I just think the Arizona Coyotes providing the value here. I'm going to take Arizona at plus 106 to kick things off. Now we head to the UBS Arena where the New York Islanders take on the Toronto Maple Leafs. And, you know, the Toronto Maple Leafs against the Predators over the weekend, I was saying I wanted to see something from this team. As, you know, instead of just winning a bunch of one-goal games. And, well, what did Toronto do? They went and shut out the uh, the Nashville Predators in that game. It was an impressive performance from uh, Ilya Samsonov. You know, Joseph Wall has been outstanding, but Wall still on the injured list. Um, he's going to be out for the foreseeable future with an ankle issue. Um, and Toronto, a little bit banged up. You know, they just lost John Klingberg for the year. Mark Giordano's out. Uh, Timothy Lilligren's out. So this defensive grouping for Toronto is is a little bit uh, a little bit frail right now. But I still think that they're a the more trustworthy team. You know, right now the New York Islanders, sure, the Islanders have been able to win their fair share of games. They're seven one and two coming into this game. Winners of four of five. But again, they're playing that higher scoring style of hockey for the most part, and that's not. You know, in New York's wheelhouse, that's not this team's comfort zone, comfort level. Um, sure, they've been able to win games, and maybe you know they're changing their philosophy. But as far as I'm concerned, this is still a, an Islanders team that is still six, three, and five at home this season, six and eight if you combine those losses. And the Toronto Maple Leafs, that play style, it fits more into their wheelhouse. They like to play higher scoring and faster paced games. This Toronto offense is built for that. Um, I think Toronto just goes on the road and gets the job done here. I think there's a reason that they're favored on the road. Not a game rushing to the window to bet, as I'm probably not for a lot of car the lot of uh, Monday's card, like I mentioned earlier. But either way, I'm going to go with the Maple Leafs in this one at minus 134.
Now we head to the American Airlines Center where the Dallas Stars take on the Detroit Red Wings. And what is a bit of an interesting matchup, you know, I really wanted to get there with the Detroit Red Wings, who are 7-3 and three on the puck line on the road this season. Uh, but we started to see the, uh, the Red Wings falter. They're giving up goals in bunches again. They've given up a combined 18 goals in their last four games. On the other side of the coin, the Dallas Stars, they were always going to be favored at home. Um, they, they get the benefit of the doubt. And maybe this, the Red Wings are just worth the look based on the value play, considering that Dallas has lost three of their last four. But there haven't been really many slouches over the last few games that the Dallas Stars have lost to. You know, they lost to Vegas twice. They lost to Florida, Tampa Bay. You know, they took a loss, a pair of losses against the Calgary Flames. Even though I hate the Calgary Flames, they're still not a terrible hockey team. So, you know, it's sort of six of one, half dozen of another. Which team are you going to, you know, back here? Which is the lesser of two evils? Only one overtime loss for Detroit separates these teams from having an identical record. You take that overtime loss for Detroit, flip it to a win. They're both 15, 8, and 3 on the year. So maybe the Detroit Red Wings are worth a look here. But historically... You know, the over has been the better play in this matchup. It's just been high scoring. Uh, three of the last four meetings have seen at least seven goals. You go further back, we've seen 10 goals, seven goals again. So I think this is going to be a fairly higher scoring matchup um, in this one. So I'm going to take the over six. I lean towards the Red Wings for a side here, but again, not a game I'm, not a game I'm overly in love with. And our final game on Monday's card takes us to the Ball Arena where the Calgary Flames pay a visit to the Colorado Avalanche. And, you know, the thing about the Avalanche is that they're better than what they've shown in a lot of their recent games. This is a team that's still dropped five of their last six. Goal scoring, for whatever reason, has been an issue for the Avs, scoring three goals or less in all six of those games. Meanwhile, the Calgary Flames have lost three of their last four and scored three or less there as well. Head-to-head -head between these two teams, this has been an under-series all the way, the th each of the last three meetings. All wins by Colorado, but all wins where Calgary has scored one goal, lost 3-1 earlier this season, just a, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, lost 4-1 and 4-1 in a couple other games earlier on. So, you know, we've seen just low-scoring games in this matchup, and I just don't think there's anything to deviate from that here. You know, Dustin Wolf, he's been solid since taking over in the crease for the Calgary Flames. Usually a guy's given up three goals max a night. On the other side, the only time we've really seen the uh, Avs give up a ton of goals is with Ivan Prozvatov and Net. Uh, other than that, Alex Georgiev has been solid. It's just the offense hasn't been able to pick him up a lot of the time. So I'm going to go with the under six here. I think this is a bit of a defensive battle, but again, just not in love with uh, with uh, with Monday's card as a whole. That's it. That's all the NHL action for Monday, December 11th, 2023. But again, just a reminder, if you like this content, smash that like button, subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell in the description of this video below. Make sure you get the newest and most up-to-date content when you're here at Pick Dogs. And also, again, if you're looking for my best bets, head to Pick Dogs Premium. We're going to get you guys some winners. And also, make sure to let me know your NHL picks in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Good luck.